you know, another neat story that you think about and how uh, direct mail got so excited. We mail for Southwest Airlines and, and Herb Kelleher founded Southwest Airlines and he was a hoot. He was great and he, he really believed in, in partnership and he would have the employees that worked on his account over at headquarters and he'd feed us, we'd have him over and we would put this big bunch of bologna on the back. He loved uh, barbecued bologna. But whenever they went ticketless, 25, 30 years ago, we got to do it. They would download on our computer at midnight. We would do the, the necessary computer work, would print out a letter, and we had to have it in the mail by noon the next day, telling people that that was their ticket and that where they were gonna go and where they were supposed to be and their flight number. We were the original people that started that. And that's one of the things about all of the mailing industry, the innovation and, and what people think of to do. But think about it, for us, we thought that was cool. Midnight, we had, we had 12 hours and we got it in the mail and we had it uh, run through the meter and it was a pretty good size account. It never was less than 40 or 50,000 pieces. And I, a lot of times I personally took it because I really wanted Herb Kelleher. I didn't want him upset with me. And tell so, me to be the boss of the year. Yeah, you know? Herb and I were boss of the year in Dallas Times Herald. They uh, had a, a people sent in, employees sent in their uh, uh, their bosses and why they think they should be boss of the year. It was a contest. We had two papers in Dallas, and one of them, Dallas Times Herald, didn't hear anymore. And the Southwest Airlines employees wrote in, and my employees wrote in. So Herb Kelleher and Ruthie Abers in 1989 were Dallas Times Herald Bosses of the Year. 